Phil here with videoschoolonline.com. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through installing and using the Soapbox plugin. It's a Chrome extension by Wistia that allows us to easily create videos right within our browser. You can create just webcam videos or screencast videos or a combination. Super cool, easy to use tool that makes it a lot more efficient to create videos. I know I'm going to be using it. So first, let's get it installed. Either head over to the Wistia website or just click the link down below to read my full article about it with more pros and cons of the tool and then click the big click here to install Soapbox button or just search for Soapbox in Google and go to the Chrome extension because it's a, an extension for Google Chrome, the browser. Unfortunately, if you're using Safari or another browser, it's not available right now. And then just click add to Chrome. Once it's installed, you'll see that there's a little icon up here in the top of your web browser. If you click this button, it will get you started. On this first page, you have your audio and video source. So there's a drop down menu and if you have any webcams or microphones plugged into your computer, you should choose from there and choose which one. You see I have the Logitech C920 that I'm using right now and a, the internal FaceTime HD camera. If you go want to go through, you can scroll through a few tips and then they have this little icon box right here, which is the way you should align yourself because once you are done recording, you can have the option to do a full screen video of the webcam or a split screen with you. You want to make sure you're in the center of this little preview box right here so it looks great. Before you click the start recording button, there are a few more options that you might want to go through. If you actually right click this box and then choose options, that will open more video capture options. It has your screen capture dimensions. This will be different depending on what type of computer screen you're using or a computer with different resolutions. You have your screen capture frame rate. Depending on what you're doing, 15 is sort of the standard. One might seem a little choppy, same with five or 10. If you are recording like gameplay or some other video content, then you might wanna choose 20 or 30, test it out. 30 will give you the smoothest quality, but it's going to take up the most uh, in terms of your computer's RAM or your memory and the speed of your computer it has to be high to be able to capture that higher screen frame rate. With your video bit rate, they give you these five options as well. And the highest will be the highest quality and the lowest will be the lowest quality. And so it's helpful to actually close down all of your other programs to make sure that all of your computer's memory and speed is going towards the Google Chrome browser and this plugin right now. I've chosen five Mbps, which is the highest, and I have a relatively fast computer, so this works for me. For desktop media options, I think this is important to check both because once you click the start recording button, it will give you the option to record either an application or tab or just the entire screen. So say you're recording a PowerPoint presentation or a specific application, you might want to just record that part of your screen and not the whole thing. So check those to make sure those are options. And then you have your webcam options. This will depend on how good your webcam quality is. Some don't have all of these options. Mine, the Logitech C920 has 1920 by 1080, so I'm gonna choose that. And same with the frame rate. You have 10, 15, 20, and 30. 30, again, will be the clearest. Anything lower, even 20, it might look a little stuttery and the movement of your lips might not match as much with the audio. It might seem unsynced. So I would try 30 and see if that works. And then with webcam capture video bitrate, I'm gonna choose the highest. I tried all the highest options and it seems to work fine for me. Um, if it's not working for you, then you might try ch closing out other programs. You might uh, try getting a faster computer <laughs> or trying it out on a different computer or just lowering it and testing out until you're happy. So when you're happy with your settings, just click this button again to open up the preview box. Now, I've noticed that a couple times Soapbox has crashed or it won't open, so I will have to restart Google Chrome. They said this is the first sort of launch of this, this product, so I'm sure they're going to be making changes in the future. Once you're happy with everything, just click Start Recording, and this will bring up this option for recording your entire screen, application window, or a specific tab. 
So here you can choose. I could choose if I just want to share my Photoshop that's open. I'm just going to do entire screen or actually let's just do that. Let's do share Photoshop. So it gives you a little countdown up here. It also shows down here that it's in, it's recording. So now I would go over here. I would teach people how to use Photoshop or whatever, or make an announcement, whatever it is. And then I would click stop sharing, or you can just click the record button up here, which stops the recording as well. Now your video is automatically loaded into the Wistia soapbox editor. So let's go over this top to bottom. First, you have the title. So everything's laid out and it's pretty obvious what you have to do when you're starting, but there's a few tricks that I want to show you. So starting out title this, so I'll just call this Photoshop tutorial. And that's going to be the name and the title of the video that appears above the, the video when you share it. Next, you have your video player right here and I can play through this just by clicking and clicking again to play through. I can also press the space bar to play or I can scrub through by going to this timeline right here in the play bar or the timeline down here. The easiest thing to do is trim and that's probably what you're going to want to do at the beginning and ending of your videos. Just hover over where the scissor mark is and then drag to the right. As you do this, you will see the video start to play. So you should have an idea of, okay, when do you start talking? This would be a good idea if you are recording um, the start, maybe you wanna do a wave in front of the camera or something like that. So you know when, like right after you put your hand down and start talking, that's when you would start. That would just be a visual marker when to start. And then same with the end. We can just bring this in to before we stop. How do we change what this looks like? So right now this is one big long clip and we can click this little icon to the left down here and this brings up our screen record video options. There are three basic options. You have the side by side with the webcam and the screen record, the full screen record, and then the solo video. So you just click on any of those options to switch it. Then you have this plus or minus button. So if you're in this view right here and you click plus, you get a more zoomed in version, plus the whole entire aspect of the video changes, which is a really interesting thing that I think is kind of cool because we're so used to the 16 by nine aspect ratio. But if you zoom out, you are allowed to have more of the screencast and more of your video. So click those in or out to zoom in or out. If you hover over this screencast on the right, you can drag up or down to zoom in or out. So when I'm starting this video, I might want it to just be me. So let's go ahead and click me and then let's play through. So if there's a point where you want to cut it so that it changes, you just click in the middle of this timeline down here. So just click and you'll see now that the, there are two clips down here. And now if we go on our play bar down here and we play through this video, you'll see that it cuts from the person view to the side by side view. Say we want this just to be the screencast. We can do that and then click done. And now if we play through this, it cuts. And it actually has a nice little swipe, which is a cool effect. So you can go through here. You can change up the views and as much as you want. It's pretty simple to do. You can also delete clips. So that's another thing to, that's important. If you need to uh, actually delete a part that's in the middle of your video, just select it and then click the little trash can icon. Next, we're going to get ready for sharing. First, we have this thumbnail creators. This is cool because it has a standard thumbnail that it takes from the video or you can take a new, vid new photo. So click the take photo and you wanna smile at the camera or point at the play button or do whatever and now that becomes your new thumbnail. You can also change the color of the skin of this player. So say your color is red for your brand, you can change it to red. And then lastly, you have a call to action. So this is a link that will appear at the end of your video. So I'll, I'll include that and I wanna check, the, check this box for displaying and then say thanks for uh, sign up for my full course, whatever. 
and then add the link to the full course. And now that's going to appear at the end of your video. Now we're ready to share this video. So all we have to do is share this button right here. It's automatically saved, so we don't have to worry about that. And it gives us two options. You can share the URL or you can embed this image with the play button. So that would be good if you're putting it on a web page, if you're including it in an email, you just click the copy thumbnail link to your clipboard and then you just paste it or the URL. So now I'm going to open this in a new incognito tab and this is what it looks like. So if you play through this, and let's just go to the end. So here it has the pop-up, the call to action. So if you click that, it takes you to the link that I wanted to share. So that's how you use Soapbox. There's also this preview button up here if you want to preview it, if you don't want to do the whole copying and pasting into an incognito tab. And then where do, is this saved? Well, if you go to your Wistia library, which you can easily get to by clicking the Wistia button up here and then clicking all videos, you go to your library of videos that you've created. So this is super cool tool. You can go to them, you can edit them after the fact, which is cool. There are lots of features that I wish they had, but I think the goal of this application or this tool is to make it as simple as possible to create quick videos and share them. It's not a full feature editor. You're not adding titles. You're not doing color correction. You're not adding music or anything like that. And you're not even able to combine different recordings into one video that I know of anyways. So these are all different things that might pop up in the future. But for now, it's a great way to just quickly record videos. For me, I'm going to be answering student questions with it, creating quick videos that I send in emails, uh, that kind of thing. You can't download the videos as of now. Uh, there is not a, a record limit that Wistia really has said. They say they've tested it out for like 30 minutes or so and it seems to work. It, you know, they're just starting out too with this. What else? It's completely free. As of now, I'm not being pitched to buy Wistia storage for this or hosting for this. I'm wondering how they're going to you know, grow this if people aren't going to have to pay this because this is a lot of video storage, but uh, we'll see. It's a super cool tool that I think a lot of people are gonna sign up for. If you have any questions, please, please let me know in the comments below or read the blog article. If you're not watching this video on the blog page by clicking to the blog full blog article below. And I also include some more resources that Wistia provided to help you like frequently ask questions and troubleshooting that you might wanna look into too. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun using Soapbox. Hey, Phil here, and I hope you really enjoyed that tutorial. If you want thousands more tutorials organized into courses and learning paths that take you from beginner to advanced in a ton of cool topics, you should check out the Video School Online All Access Pass. And for those of you watching right now, you can get the first month completely free. After that, it's $9 a month. You can cancel anytime, no strings attached, no questions asked. Head over to videoschoolonline.com forward slash access to get your first month completely free and to join people from all around the world learning new skills and becoming better at what they're passionate about. Thanks so much and I can't wait to see you inside.